and welcome one, welcome all to another episode of Remnants Rise no. from the Ashes, or Rise from Ashes, something. From the Ashes, I don't know, it's something like that. So, uh, <laughs> just <off> say Remnant. <laughs> Off camera, uh, we just came back um, to figure out what that weapon was that we craft, and I like it. I mean, I haven't really tested it out yet because I just crafted it, but I'm I'm gonna test it out and you know maybe upgrade it a little bit. Um, I'm definitely curious to see what that spore shot's gonna do. Um, I do like having AOEs for whenever we get swarmed, like especially in those boss encounters. That would have been amazing for that, though. My question, fifty rod, I don't think would have really done too terribly much to them. My question about that weapon, and I feel like it would actually be one of its best circumstances. Is you remember when we were fighting that dickwa that meleeed us, and all the exploding fox kept coming around the corners and shit? Yes. Well, that leaves a, a basically a spore cloud that deals damage to enemies, right? Yeah. What if you were to say, shoot that into a tight hallway, leave the spore cloud there, would that do enough damage that those exploding fucks would die upon trying to walk through it for a few seconds? I don't know. Because, I mean, that could end up being nice. How long does it last, did it say? Seven seconds. Seven seconds. It's not that long, but, I mean, it's enough to maybe deal with a couple of them if that's how it works. Maybe. Well, it we'll really test boils it. down to, does, it, does that, like, acid cloud or whatever hit hard enough? Yep. I know one thing that we desperately need to go on a like a scrap hunt because I need to be able to buy more items. They, they definitely. Uh, um, uh, um, should I be concerned? Um. Okay. That just caught me off. What, what was I saying? Needing to go on a scrap hunt because you're out of it, basically. That. Okay, yeah. That that threw me for a loop. That's okay. What is this, a dungeon? I don't know. I've never seen a door like this. How do you interact with it? You just walk into the portal. Oh, okay. So it only takes one person at a time. Outcomes are more than previous. This is years. interesting. Cracks in the walls grow every day, surrounding me. Human, the core is rotten. The root corrupts everything. Why do you distract the king? Hmm. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. The guardians are destroyed. The devourer lurks unchecked. The labyrinth erodes daily. And I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your change is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and cease. The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is time. It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The labyrinth contains all the worlds that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed, but all are contained within. Okay, this is getting into some multiverse theory shit. Yeah, basically. The devourer was the one who erased even the labyrinth's guardian, leaving only myself to hold back on any rock. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. The root threatens every world, so every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the root can claim that world and grow stronger. The loss of several guardians made way for the devourer. The devourer has made the root very strong indeed. This place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core, inviolable, and without need of a guardian. I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. The root could not have come without an invitation. 
interesting. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. Okay, that's strange. What the? Okay. This just got interesting. Or more interesting. Indeed. Keeper's Blessing? What's that do? Oh, it's elemental resistance. Okay, that's cool. That should end up coming in handy because, you know, 1% resistance every point you put into it. Yeah, I'm going to dump two points on that. <laughs> Dude, our points are going to be so spread out by the time we actually get to the end of the game and we're able to reset to actually figure out exactly what we want to do. <laughs> yeah. And, like, right now I have a whole bunch of points dumped into stamina and, well... I don't have any. Well, I think I might have a problem. Okay, what is this? I'm assuming these are doors. I do not know. Ah! So you can fall off. I'll go back to the stone. <laughs> I was actually kind of curious to test that, but I didn't want to test that. Thank you for testing that for me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try not to fall off the edge this time. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. things to Okay, so the doors are locked. Interesting. Okay, so these are just teleport pads, effectively. Okay, there we go. This is weird. I really like the design of the place, though. It looks really cool. The um, reassembling and disassembling floor kind of bothers me. <laughs> Not he. 
appear that you have opened the gates. A second new way? It must be. Forgive me, speaker of the word. Herald of the Guardian. Yet I thought to... Are you not new me? Yet, they opened the gates. Only the new we can... Could it be? Is it time? I only speak through Dar. Perhaps a smattering of Wuri. No enlightened one. Only through Dar, the ancient tongue, is spoken in these lands. Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. Surely there are none like you, inimitable one. At least I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but he is not one to give information willingly. Except, perhaps, to another Nui. Of course, of course, his name is Islan. No doubt he will be... God damn it. He rules from the Citadel. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten, like all Akari. I am only eager to see. It is my joy there. My great go well. Are you just gonna sit there groveling the entire time? Huh. It would appear so. That that's just they, this got weird. I was not expecting this weird of a turn. Ooh, another trait. Let me get. Ah! Re reduced stamina cost. These guys inflict something called radiation. That's okay. Yeah, don't shoot most of these guys in the head. At least the ones wearing what looks like a mask. I was hitting them for sixes. Oh. Body shots were hitting like 80s or 60s or something. Yeah, 80s.
angry. These things are very angry. Yes, they are. Also, you can shoot off its helmet. The big guy. Hmm. I didn't get the chance to shoot him in the face after I knocked his helmet off, though. But I would assume it does really high damage. can pump out some damage, dude. I just love all the bullet sponges we're running into. Not helping with the ammo consumption issue. At least these guys announced themselves. Yeah, I have no idea. I heard a whistling sound. Is somebody shooting mortars? Somewhere? Oh! Got incoming, Zen. I think I can get him out of there. Yep, he's dead. There's two long gun ammo things right here. Well, that's something. I wish ammo was shared. You know, like materials that would kind of help fix this damn problem. Oh, 
I know is, dude, these things are supremely angry. How the big ones are, at least. I mean, it's nice they announce themselves so well. And anytime they're about to throw a spear, you hear like a weird sound. So it's not too hard to dodge by. Oh shit. What a big guy. Uh, I don't know what this guy is. A new type? Oh yeah, he has a ranged weapon. Oh, what the? Seriously? Nothing says a tribe of badasses like cooking skulls on a fire. <laughs> right? Oh, and apparently an arm. There's an arm on the fire, too. Wow. Shows red, but I can't hit it. Um, we need to find an item for that thing. Heavy water elixir removes irradiated effect and increases radiation resistance. And he also has trinkets. Interesting. Jewel of the Black Sun increases range damage by 5% for 10 seconds after a ranged kill. Stacks up to 4 times. Mender's Charm. Dragon Hearts will heal teammates within 10 meters with 50% of health healed to self. What? So, does that mean it splits it evenly between the two? Maybe. That's, I don't know how I feel about that. Now, if it's like 100% heal for one and 50% for the other, that could be cool, but I don't know if it works like that. I can wait for it. Does guy not sell melee weapons? Uh, He's got yeah, what looks like a couple interesting ones right here. There's a another checkpoint pilot. Come <laughs> on. 
recently shot you. I noticed. got a big guy, you might want to run. When you say big guy, you mean one of the dudes with the claws? Yep. Yeah, fuck. And, oh, by the way, he runs faster than you do. Of course! Everything does. much chance to use it special because that's the thing that's going to kind of make this thing so it's just kind of a yeah because like right now I think I prefer the one that has you know more shots I mean it has a really fast reload yeah but I mean the other gun reloads really fast too mm. a leech ember Melee hits leech damage dealt to the target, returning his health to the wearer. Well, that'd be nice if we meleeed. I feel like melee is a little bit dangerous, though. Yeah. Bullets. Yeah, thankfully these, you know, refill your bullets. 
Oh my god, if they didn't, I would be like throwing a shit fit. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of not having bullets. Yeah, hold on, let me switch back to my other gun for now. There we go. That's one thing I've kind of noticed about the game so far. Is that a floating skull? Yes, it was. With the balls. But, yeah, so one thing I've noticed with this game so far is it seems like there's really no, like, good or bad weapons, but just more preference. Because they can all just be upgraded. Whatever you'd rather use, really. There's a purple. Hunter's Halo. YouTube. Increase the effective range of all firearms by 20%. Okay. I kind of like that. Hmm. I'm ditching the experience one. Yeah, I did too. pretty quickly, huh? Well, I mean, it takes two shots to kill anything except for these skulls. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I mean, it takes two shots to kill, like, anything, even some of the smaller things, for the most part. There's a couple things that kills in one shot. It only has like 35 shots or 45 shots or something. And I mean, there's definitely a few enemies in this game. Yeah. And every drop of ammo only gives me seven. Yeah. Now, if every other enemy dropped the ammo, or every third enemy dropped ammo, that'd be fine. But, you know, like, every eighth enemy drops ammo. Which is less than one bullet per thing, which isn't enough to kill everything. Not even close. Uh, you just pass a chest there. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a chest. Ooh, blood wart. Nice. Yeah, I've been buying that.
hear you sounds like something like cooling up on the ground. a glowing rod. Well? Did you get that? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's a quest item. idea, I think. I found an exit slash entrance. Appreciance is what I came in at. Do you believe that is a correct assumption? Oh, I want to... Actually, no, I'm not worried about this. Yeah, you can just take all the good ones. And then go pick up food. Gladly take all that scrap. Look at all that. Oh, forged iron. Oh yeah, I actually have six forged iron. That means I can, uh... upgrade my shotgun. Um, and side note, radiation. When irradiated, your max stamina will be halved. Oh, yeah. You're right. I didn't even notice that. Huh. Which is sad that I didn't notice that because it regenerates so friggin' fast. It's like, what's the point of even having? You know? And then there's galvanized iron. Well, it's... Might as well open up all these right quick. Oh, these 
tasty goodies up. I actually have a decent amount of scrap again. Which means that I could. I can actually go through and upgrade my gear finally. And buy a hunting rifle. Should we go back and do that? Oh, um, it's actually not a bad idea. Uh, right. It seems like a hunting rifle is a really good weapon to just have in the events where you need to shoot something from far away. I mean, it does run out of ammo kind of easily. Yeah, but it seems like that weapon is better than the friggin' uh, sniper right, rifle. Right, the sniper rifle's fucking garbage. I mean, if the sniper rifle had a bigger magazine, then it would be good, but... If it had, you know, accuracy, it would be good. <laughs> but, it, no. It's like you're fucking strapping the damn gun to your dick and aiming it around with a hard-on. <laughs> Can't fucking hit anything, unless it's two feet in front of you. Which is basically the length of the damn barrel. Yeah. So now everything takes forged iron for my actual armor. Nice. I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade this rifle again, though. So it's at 88 damage now. Take care, my friend. Uh, good to see you. Uh. And I've got 112 armor. Hunting rifle 600? I don't want to spend that much just because there's a, just a lot of things I have to go through and upgrade. Yeah, maybe just upgrade stuff first. I mean, it seems like weapons don't really do a whole lot. It's all just preference. But I do feel like, I mean, the sniper rifle will work. It's just, it's a pain. I mean, it hits pretty friggin' hard. Yeah. It's just, can you hit things with it? So you end up wasting shots to, you know, not deal damage, which is a pain in the ass. And then if you have to kill a bunch of smaller things, then, well, you're stuck having to switch weapons, like, guaranteed. Whereas the hunting rifle, you at least have nine rounds in the clip. Okay, so that's that. That's all upgraded. So now my armor is fully upgraded as well. Now it takes forged iron to do it. I can actually upgrade the helmet once with forged iron. And I upgraded uh, my shotgun. And my shotgun is currently doing 208. Maybe save the forged iron for weapon upgrades? I don't know. I almost feel like the armor upgrades might be better. Yeah, right now I'm sitting at 112 armor. Yeah, 112.5. Yep. Yeah, because we're in the same stuff. Okay. I mean, 112 armor must be pretty shitty. I mean, like, look at our actual gear. Like, that does not look like it would provide any protection, like, whatsoever. <laughs> Except for maybe if somebody tries to cut off your left arm. Then you might actually be okay. Your right arm is gone. You just thought. Also, with these floating skulls, I feel like this is a doom crossover. Oi. There we go. Zoo's green. Baron, maybe you should not attack things with melee right now. Look at that. I need you. 
Look at them. All he says is take a seat. I'm also pretty sure that one in the middle is an elite. So, should we just start like, no. shooting them? Oh, there's a use option. Oh, there we go. The pack kills on sight. E option on the fire. Exceptions. Oh, there we go. You are living dangerously, friend. Oh, okay, he's a, uh... Houndmaster's Jerky? Interesting. Increases crit damage by 15%, lasts 60 minutes, and will stay after death. Thanks for the conversation. Oh. And don't. Your noise is sticking your grave. So, should we kill them, or should we not kill them? Oh, well, there's a checkpoint right back there, so why not try? Okay. Yeah, he's like a boss. Ooh, this. Um, yeah, that guy's mad. Feels good, man. We got a pound okay? choker item, whatever that is. Uh, there might be a new necklace. Wait, no? You know, nothing says what sub is it? subjugation like wearing a dog collar, right? Oh, it's used to make a weapon mod. Okay. I mean, kind of curious about it. Kind of glad that we were able to beat that our first try. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't bad. No, I feel like the, the dog was pretty easy to avoid. Yeah, and the other guy, you could just dodge his shit as well. Like, he didn't really do anything special. He just kept throwing yellow globs at you. Mm-hmm. Though I wonder what would have happened if we would have killed the dog and not the guy. Because, I mean, wasn't he kind of a shop? Yeah, but, I mean, he just started attacking us whenever we started attacking the dogs, so... Yeah, I mean, like, what if we would have killed the dog first? Would he have then been like, oh, okay, you know, you killed him, so, like, I'll be your friend again? Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I was tempted to try to keep him alive, but then I saw he was at low HP and I'm like, fuck this, I'm just gonna go Alright. So, we beat Maul, because that was the big doggo's name, and, uh, we're on this... I'm assuming this is a different planet. So that's always interesting. Definitely making some progress. I am liking uh, that we're able to kind of fend for ourselves more so. New armor seem to made a huge difference. Yeah, agreed. So with all that, I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode here because we did another boss encounter. I see purple.
Yeah, awesome. It's purple. Well, let's go ahead and loot that right quick before I end the episode. See, see what it is. Um. Uh, here we go. Oh, on the way up. Yep. And it is a gravity stone. Increases damage by 25% when there are at least three enemies within eight meters of the wearer. So, basically melee range. Yeah. Very interesting. Alright. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Definitely making some progress. Can't wait to explore this area more, even though it's really angry and I do not like the skulls. <laughs> yeah, I wish there's one right there. Yes, there is. Alright. In that case, we will see y'all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.